Center for Development of Telematics, CDOT, was established to develop the state-of-the-art digital telecom technologies for induction in the Indian telecom network. The emphasis is on the developing telecom technologies. Suited to Indian conditions and their large-scale transfers to industry in public and private sector, out-of-the-box thinking has changed the face of technology in the telecom sector. Today, almost all the services and applications are bandwidth hungry. The advent of pawn systems in the access market is viewed as the technology to provide triple play services, voice, video and data to the consumers. To address the concern of emerging high bandwidth services and applications, CDOT has developed products based on Gigabit Passive Optical Network GPON technology. GPON is the next generation of PON, supports higher data rates over a logical reach of up to 60 kilometers. When compared to other PON technologies, GPON is seen as the technology of choice to deliver FTTX or Fiber to the home, building, curb, cabinet by the service providers because it provides higher bandwidth, better quality of service and enhanced scalability, can handle multiple service providers and overcomes the drawbacks of copper networks. CDOT GPON is essentially a cost-effective optical fiber-based access system for providing a triple play of voice, video and data services to both business and residential customers. It offers bandwidths of 2.488 gigabits per second downstream at 1490 nanometers and 1.244 gigabits per second upstream at 1310 nanometers which is much higher than the bandwidths provided by copper links. Video is transmitted downstream at 1550 nanometers multiplexed with downstream data signal. Thus, this arrangement is robust, cost-effective and provides more security. C.GPON system consists of OLT as central office unit and different types of ONTs such as ONT1, ONT2, ONT3 and ONT4 as terminal units. Different types of ONTs provide different types of interfaces as per user requirements. Each OLT is connected to a set of ONTs using passive splitters. Passive Optical Network or PON consists of distributed or single-staged passive optical splitters or combiners providing connectivity between OLT and multiple ONTs through optical fibers. Local Craft Terminal or LCT and Element Management System or EMS softwares manage the complete PON system from OLT. C.G PON operates in a non-AC environment and is tolerant to high and low temperatures, humidity and dust. The C.G PON system complies with ITUT recommendations G.984 series and the latest TEC GR. OLT or Optical Line Termination is the central office equipment which provides SNI functions for the GPON system. OLT provides switching and aggregation functions between the core network and the PON interfaces. It provides PON interfaces towards the ONTs and the service interfaces towards the core network. OLT has the provision to terminate 24 PONs with 1 is to 1 protection and 4 number of 10 gigabit ethernet and 4 number of 1 gigabit ethernet towards the core network. OLT is designed with highly advanced ATCA architecture with an inbuilt cooling mechanism. Each PON interface card of OLT has 4 numbers of PON interfaces. OLT can house a total of 12 such cards, hence providing 24 PON interfaces with protection or 48 PON interfaces without protection. Its control and Ethernet switch cards are completely redundant and can be synchronized with network cloth. At user side, it can support up to 32 ONTs per PON port. That amounts to 
up to 1536 ONTs per shell. These ONTs can be up to 20 kilometers away. At the network side, the 10G and 1G ports of OLT can be connected to internet, telephone exchange, servers and switches etc. Co-located with the OLT and the part of the OLT system is the video overlay subsystem. This system takes RF cable TV video as input and provides multiplexed optical video as output towards all PON interfaces. The system consists of RF video transmitter, video optical amplifier assembly, three number of WDM coupler trays, three number of one by one optical switch trays. The RF video transmitter, WDM coupler and switch trays are of standard 19 inches width and 1U height housing. The video transmitter takes the RF signal of 47 to 870 megahertz and converts it into an optical signal at 1550 nanometers. It also offers SPS suppression feature at plus 19 dBm. It also has an Ethernet interface for configuration and alarms monitoring. Video optical amplifier assembly consists of three video amplifier cards and one video controller card connected to each other with motherboard. It also has one passive splitter card. Each video amplifier card has an EDFA optical amplifier unit supporting 16 output ports which increase the optical power of video signal to compensate the loss of fiber and passive splitter. After amplification, each output port gives around plus 20 dBm optical power. Each card has RS-232 interface for monitoring alarms and for operation and management. WDM coupler unit multiplexes the video signal at 1550 nanometers from the video amplifier cards with the 1490 nanometers G-PON downstream signal from OLT PON port towards the ONT. The one cross one switch tray is used to switch off the particular port of video amplifier cards for safety purpose in case of fiber break. The RF video transmitter, switch tray and video optical amplifier assembly work on single minus 48 volts DC supply from the pay top. Complete OLT system including video overlay subsystem can be assembled in a standard 19 inch wide, 600 millimeters deep and 2200 millimeters high standard shelf and works on minus 48 volts DC input. ONT is an abbreviation for optical network termination. It is a customer premises equipment providing user interface. All ONTs require a plus 12 volts DC supply from outside. To work with 160 to 270 volts AC at 50 plus minus 5 hertz supply, an AC-DC adapter is required. The system requires negligible maintenance efforts and works in a non-AC environment on natural cooling and no forced cooling is required. ONT1, ONT3 and ONT4 are small boxes which can be placed on a table or hung on a wall. While ONT2 is a larger box which can be placed on the table or mounted in a standard 19-inch rack. First type of ONT is called ONT1. An ONT1 system is a single card system that is designed to serve a single residential unit. On one side, it has fiber interface towards OLT and on the other side, it has user interfaces that is one gigabit Ethernet interface port two ports ports and one video port. GPON interface optical is 1.244 gigabits per second upstream at lambda in 1310 nanometers band. For downstream it is 2.488 gigabits per second at lambda in 1490 nanometers band for data and 1550 nanometers band for video. Frequency band of analog video is 47 to 870 megahertz its approximate power consumption is 10 watts.
Second type of ONT is called ONT2. ONT2 system can be used for subscribers requiring more interfaces. ONT2 system is a three card system and is designed to serve small office home office units or multi dwelling unit. Its approximate power consumption is 32 watts. An ONT2 system towards the pawn side has the same interface, bit rates, and operating wavelengths as that of an ONT1 system. Towards the user side, it has four number of fast Ethernet ports, one number of gigabit Ethernet port, four voice ports, four even ports, and one RF video port. This is another type of ONT and is called ONT3. ONT3-2 is a single card system that is designed to serve single residential units. On one side, it has fiber GPON interface towards OLT and on the other side, it has user interfaces which are 1 Gigabit Ethernet, 4 Fast Ethernet, 2 Ports Ports, 2 USB Ports and 1 Video Port. GPON Interface Optical is 1.244 Gigabits per second upstream at Lambda in 1310 nanometers band. For downstream, it is 2.488 gigabits per second at lambda in 1490 nanometers band for data and 1550 nanometers band for video. Frequency band of analog video is 47 to 870 megahertz. Its approximate power consumption is 21 watts. This type of ONT is called ONT4. It is just like ONT3 except that it does not provide RF video interface. So, this is a cost optimized version of ONT3 for customers not requiring RF video. ONT4 system is also a single card system and is designed to serve a single residential unit. On one side, it has fiber GPON interface towards OLT and on the other side, it has user interfaces which are 1 Gigabit Ethernet, 4 Fast Ethernets, 2 Ports Ports and 2 USB Ports. GPON interface optical is 1.244 Gigabits per second upstream at Lambda in 1310 nanometers band. For downstream, it is 2.488 gigabits per second at lambda in 1490 nanometers band. The system can also work in a non-AC environment. The power consumption is quite low, 19 watts. Solar powered versions of the ONTs are also available. The main system features of C.GPON solution are fully TEC-GR and ITUT-G.984 compliant system, 2.5 gigabits per second downstream at 1490 nm, 1.25 gigabits per second upstream at 1310 nm, RF video transmission at 1550 nm, can support up to 32 ONTs per pawn port can support up to 1536 ONTs per OLT system. Support of Class B Plus Optics 28 dB for larger range. OLT to ONT distance can be as large as 20 km. Support for Type B protection is provided through redundancy at the OLT and redundancy of optical fiber between OLT and first splitter. Security ensured by AES encryption provided in the downstream direction. Support for RSFEC or Reed Solomon forward error correction is provided in both upstream and downstream directions. C 
C.GPON is designed to deliver IPTV services, residential and business data services, and reliable voice over IP services to each premises, greatly increasing services capabilities while reducing ongoing maintenance and operational expenses. C.GPON provides network access to homes and businesses and through the use of cutting-edge laser optoelectronics, optical amplifiers and repeaters. Distance education, webinars etc. through e-education and medical and healthcare services through e-medicine will become a reality with CDOT's GPON services. Users can also enjoy a variety of services such as high-speed internet access, transparent land service, broadcast video, video on demand, online gaming and many more. Broadband networks are an increasingly integral part of the economy. As the technology evolves and bandwidth increases, the scope for broadband to act as an enabler of structural change in the economy expands as it affects an increasing number of sectors and activities. Broadband increasingly enables people to start small businesses from home, which will contribute to a more dynamic and entrepreneurial business sector. As India is poised for growth, proliferation of GPON technologies and availability of high-speed internet through large-scale deployment of GPON systems will provide impetus to the broadband growth for national development. It will not only help to bridge the digital divide, but also will significantly contribute in ensuring sustained economic growth, as there is a direct correlation to the broadband penetration per inhabitant to the per capita GDP of the country. Indian economy in the past few years has grown, but the growth can be accelerated and made more inclusive by providing high-speed broadband connectivity in the urban as well as in rural India.